In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create these rounded borders here nicely stacked on top of each other and control the order of which data set would be drawn first and second. So to do this, the first thing what we need is our border template, which you can find here on chartjs 3com getting started. Once you're on here, scroll down and copy this chunk of code and you're good to go. Next, if you want the source code of this video and many others, check out my Patreon page and of course join the Discord channel. All the links are in the description box. First of all, to have a stacked bar chart, we need to have a second data set. So I'm going to just copy all of this. Then I'm going to just paste that in here. And to give it a different color, I'll just make this here, just copy this. And it will be probably more appropriate to have a, a solid color instead of a transparent color. So that's what I recommend. All right, so save this, refresh. So now we have this, I want to merge them together. So what I'm going to do here is um, on the X scale, comma, and I say your stack equals true, save, refresh. So now they're stacked, but of course they're on top of each other or they're behind each other. So what I want to do now is and this is very important because we have to play here with the order. So let's say this was the lowest value. Three, three, three. I'll make it all three. And this must then always be higher. It should be three or higher. So in this case, I'll just make this four. Save that, refresh. There we are. So as you can see here, if I hover over this part, it will just show me the tooltip of the red bar. All right, so once, what we can do next is, let's make it a bit more narrow. We're going to say here in the options, I say here bar percentage. And if you do this, it will apply it on every data set here. And let's say this will be, a, uh, I guess, a 0.5 or 50%. Save, refresh, there we are. And then what we can do here is also border radius. And the border radius will be top left, we'll give it a 10 pixel top right 10 pixels make sure you have a comma here of course and then here uh, bottom left 10 pixels and bottom right 10 pixels there we are save refresh oh make sure you have a comma here save refresh there we are so this looks all quite nice what would happen if the order is exactly the opposite? So you have to really consider this. So if you have the order in the, in the opposite, like that, there you are. So what is happening now is the red is behind. And if the order doesn't really matter because you can assign what will be drawn on top and what will be behind. So for example, in this case, I want this to be always on top. So I could say here, comma, and order, put it on zero, and this one will be order number one, save, there we are. If you have another one between here that would be even larger, then you have to select the order of that one that will be whatever the order would be. And that's how you can control all of these items here. You can see here that looks absolutely phenomenal. And that's it. 